video is a collaboration video with Nikki Tutorials. We got together and wanted to do makeup inspired by JLo and Iggy Azalea in the booty music video. So I'm doing Iggy's look, as you can tell, and Nikki is doing JLo. Make sure you check out her video and subscribe to her channel. If you've never seen her before on YouTube, you're definitely in for a treat. So yeah, let's get started. So since I'm Iggy Azalea, I had to bust out the long, straight, blonde hair. This is um, this is actually, this is a wig from Virgin Hair Fantasy. They call them perucas. And you can see like it's just like sitting right, ugh, other side. It's like sitting right here and then I have like my natural hair out. So I wanted to do it to look kind of like Iggy. Her hair in the video is like all slicked back and oily, but I don't have those type of magical powers, so yeah. So the makeup is really natural. Um, it's all about like shiny, shiny is the wrong word, glowy, dewy skin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start out with this primer. This is the Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer. So I'm just gonna put this all over the face. My hair's in my way. <laughs> I'm assuming Iggy's makeup artist probably used a liquid foundation on her because I feel like that's just the most popular, but I like powders. So I'm going to use this Cover FX um, Pressed Mineral Foundation. This is in the shade G30. Okay, so now for the bronzer, I kind of do it in two different steps. First, I use a matte bronzer to warm up the face. This one is, this is actually, oh, I just dropped the sponge. This one is medium dark foundation from Motives for Lala, but I like it just because it's so dark. It really does the trick right off the bat. So I always start at the hairline. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the shimmery bronzer and I'm gonna put this all over the face really lightly. This is from City Color. This is Sunlighting Trio, wait, sun, Sunlight Trio Blush Highlight and Bronzer. And I'm gonna take this one right here. And I'm just gonna put it all over. Okay, so now that I'm sufficiently bronzed, I'm going to go in with a highlighter from the same palette. And this has a yellow undertone, slightly like pearlescent. And with the same brush, I'm just really lightly gonna dust it all over the whole face. Well, actually I'm avoiding like these darker contour areas, but aside from that, I'll be putting it all over the whole face. Normally I do this even when I'm going out, but I'm putting a little bit more of the highlighter on just for the sake of this video. Oh yeah, and this brush, in case anyone's wondering, this is a Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush. So I think it just came in one of like their foundation kits. It's gonna deepen the contour in the cheeks a little bit. Oh, and this brush is a MAC 116. So for the eyes, first I'm gonna start with the eyebrows. Iggy's eyebrows are not filled in anything special. It looks like they're probably just filled in with the powder. If you guys notice in celebrity makeup, it's a lot different than like social media makeup. Um, they don't do a lot of like crazy defined brows. I don't know why, I think that they look bad as shit. But for some reason, celebrities don't do their brows like that. They need to get up on game. So I'm using a MAC 263 brush and the Anastasia Dip Brow. And I'm gonna avoid making any hard lines because I want the brows to look natural. So I'm also gonna take a little bit of this tinted brow gel from Anastasia. It's, um, I've had it forever and it, it's just really lightly tinted and it's gonna make my brows just a shade lighter 
and it's also going to help them look more neat, like it's going to comb the hairs and keep them in place. See, it's just like a tiny little difference. And this is an 18, number 18 brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a really good brush for contouring. I'm sorry, for carving. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of eyeshadow base. This is MAC Painterly. It's almost done, it's crazy. I feel like I've never actually finished a cream product in a pot before, so it's kind of exciting. Um, I think I'm gonna get Soft Ochre next. That's what, I know that's what Nikki uses. Um, I guess it just has a yellow undertone. This one has a pink undertone, but I'm gonna apply it really lightly to the lid. So you can see like her eyes are super light. It just looks like there's a little bit of um, shimmery gold on there. Looks like she's not wearing any eyeliner either, which is very hurtful to me. So for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a shimmery gold shadow called Gold Rush. These don't come out till November. So I'm just using a 217 brush and I'm just gonna pack it on the lid. This isn't the ideal brush for packing, but I figure since it's the eyeshadow is so minimal, it kinda doesn't matter what brush you use. And I'm just gonna fade it upwards lightly. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do my under eyes. I'm using my Monica Dar C2 Yellow Powder. So next, I'm just going to do some lashes. I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This mascara is pretty old and it's a little bit dry. So it takes, I have to apply more coats, but I feel like it separates the lashes better and it just gives them more volume. And this is actually one of my favorite mascaras, even when it was brand new. So for my lashes, I'm going to use Ardell Wispies. Um, these are really good natural lashes, natural lashes. And the reason why I'm gonna use these is because they have a thin lash band. So it'll be a little bit easier for them to blend in because I'm not wearing eyeliner. To finish off the eyes, Iggy's makeup looks like she has white eyeliner in the waterline but I'm not a huge fan of white liner in the waterline. I feel like it's too harsh. So I'm going to use instead a like cream toned color for the waterline. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is waterproof cream color and the color Honey. So I'm using this MAC 210 brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and go ahead and put it right in the waterline. So now that the eyes are all complete, I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlighter to the tops of the cheekbones because it's gonna cover the concealer. So I'm just using the same highlight that we used all over. And I'm using a smaller brush and I'm kind of packing it on. I'm gonna put a little bit too much right there. So I'm just gonna take some, this brush from before, blend it a little. Now the last step for the face is contour the nose. So I'm taking this Anastasia contour powder and I'm just gonna contour the nose pretty lightly since everything else is so light on the face. I'm also gonna take a little bit of pink blush from the same highlighting trio palette and a looser <laughs> fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of blush on the apples of the cheeks. So her lips look like a glossy nude, but they definitely look like they have a pink undertone. So I have a couple different lips that I might mix. So I'm gonna take this lipstick called Forever Nude. This is from BH Cosmetics. Hi, do you want? Oh yeah, that looks better. All 
right guys so that was the whole makeup look i hope you guys like it definitely make sure you check out nikki tutorials video and subscribe to her channel because she's always doing awesome creative stuff and she's definitely one of my biggest inspirations here on youtube so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you soon that's nikki and that's me I... fuck there's an ant on my phone <laughs>